let's just go function. And the function's name is uh, zkr underscore mq, not mq script. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is uh, we want to actually add jQuery as a script. And then I've already created the other two, so basically we're just going to add the following. So the first one is the Zucker framework tabs, and we will be using this to control the HTML to create a drop down menu effect. And the second part, which you see here, is uh, the scripts for using the media uploader. And uh, I'll be explaining this in a few seconds. Okay, let's just go to the mask script part. For this section, uh, we are basically using an on click event for our upload image logo button. Um, this is the part in the HTML that we haven't written yet. <laughs> So we'll be getting back to that now. The first thing uh, you'll notice with the onclick event is we actually have a variable that's called send attachment. And uh, it gets the media uploader. And then we've got a button variable. It references itself. We have an ID which actually uses the, the button attribute ID and then replaces it with this. Then we get the attachment and we actually set the value of our upload field to the attachment URL and then uh, we basically just send the attachment to that and then we return false at the end. I've used exactly the same for the favicon. Um, it actually does exactly the same. All I'm doing is I'm targeting a different button and I'm targeting a different field. So another thing we need to add is the media in queue script so we're going to add it here it's called wp nq media this will automatically include the media or activate the media uploader this is used along with the the, the mask script part the next thing we need to do is we need to add an action called admin init and just add our function name to it So basically what this does is actually loads all the scripts, uh, all our J jQuery scripts or JavaScript, and our media up uploader into the admin page so that all these functionalities work. Next on our list, we need to create a section for our general settings, HTML. So we're going to write a function, and we're going to call this function general settings. And just create it like that. And then I'm going to just copy and paste the HTML so we don't have to write everything out. Um, let's just grab this HTML I've already got here and then paste it in here. Okay, so we just need to close the tag and then open the tag again so that our HTML is working properly within our PHP. So basically, you can see that we've created a, a wrapper, a div, and then we've created another wrapper inside that, which is called panel body. We've got our H2, which says general settings. And then we've got our label, which is upload logo. And then we've got our input field for the up upload logo. And we've got a button. The button is, uh, this is the one that's used for the on-click event. And the same for the favicon one. As you can see, I've written image and favicon. And then we've got our Google Analytics settings. Um, we've just got a text area and then uh, basically a save button. Uh, you'll notice that our save button is just a normal anchor tag. And then I've got a little message part here. Uh, this is the part that's going to be used, or the div that's going to be used for our message when, it, when we click save. I've set it to display none so that we can hide it. 
and uh, the JavaScript will then show and hide this again upon showing the message. The next thing we need to do is we need to add our general settings to our um, menu switching page, which is the function we've created up here, uh, the main theme menu. Uh, what we're basically going to do is we're going to add another section below here, 